Hey y'all, my name is Sabrina and welcome to today's vlog. Today is Friday, May 3rd, two days until my birthday, the big 2-7. And I'm just, we got a lot of feelings going on for this birthday this year. But here we are, I am currently in Philadelphia, I kind of look a mess right now. I took a nap, I flew into Philadelphia this morning. My flight left around 7.40, so I was, I've been up since like 5, and I got in at around like 10-ish, something like that, and I got to my sister's house, and I took a nap, and I've been sleeping, and then I woke up, and I've just been editing, uh-oh, I've just been editing my vlog that I'm hoping to get done soon so I can post it on Monday and then I have like other stuff that I want to edit and get posted as well but yeah welcome my sister threw me out she threw me out all expenses paid for you know what I'm saying no but she did she got me a flight here to Philly for my birthday because just given the season that I'm in right now, I was not going to do anything for my birthday. For those who don't know, I was laid off my job back in March. And I've kind of just been maneuvering. Honestly, like, I'm okay. Like, I don't know. I don't have, like, any, like, big emotions about the layoff. I'm kind of just like, okay, well, life be doing its own thing. Um, and here I am. And the only thing I can choose to do is choose how I want to react to all the stuff going on so I've been pretty chill and honestly like before I got laid off I was already like saving money as well just like trying to save I was cutting down on expensive expenses in certain categories so I have money saved up to pay like my big bills like rent and stuff like that for a while so I'm not financially stressed and I feel like that's where like a lot of stress comes from and I'm not gonna think too far out into the future like oh no like what happens when because it's not here yet and so much can happen even in one day that I don't even want to put myself like in that mindset of just like panic because when you move in like panic and like desperation and like anxiety and just too quick you don't make rational decisions and I'm really just trying to be super intentional and mindful during this season in my life honestly um when it comes to like applying to jobs like if jobs reach out to me like I just want to make sure I'm making like the best decision and honestly in this season of me not working I've had so much time just to like focus on me and kind of tap back into the things that I enjoy or like that I've been wanting to do but I've been so exhausted from just like working and trying to achieve and kind of just being on like this hamster wheel of just like 
never ending like hustle and grind that I was not able to like take a break and really sit down and think about hmm, Sabrina like what do you like to do like what are your passions so I'm really just trying to be intentional and focusing on aligning my passions with like my career if that makes sense like I just want it all to be like entwined and also just like having hobbies and doing things that make me feel fulfilled and like since I've been laid off I feel like my days have been more fulfilling and meaningful like just with the stuff that I'm accomplishing like I feel very just accomplished in my day now do I want a job yes because I need one because finances are important and I need to support myself but in this season I know that it's a message from God to just like chill out because I was complaining about that job quite a lot um, before I was let go so I'm just taking everything as a sign and I'm basking in it and I'm really just not trying to be negative about anything because that's not gonna get me anywhere except for stress me out and it's so many things going on I just don't feel like being stressed out about something that ultimately I really cannot control all I can do is what I can do and I'm doing everything I need to do I'm applying to jobs I'm networking I'm reaching out to people like y'all see the resume you know what I'm saying like y'all see the background y'all see the resume y'all see the education I have nothing else for you so I can only continue to fuel my mind and my body to learn more to engage more and just like bad seasons don't last forever you need to do good ones and I was in a good season for a while and sometimes you know the season has to end and now I'm just not in a super positive season of my life but it's not gonna last forever in that I know and I'm trying to rejoice in the suffering is what I've been learning because there's power in that and yeah that is where I'm at in life currently and as I'm going into this 27th birthday did I expect my 27th birthday to be like this no did I expect me to be here in general at this age of 27 no I don't know what I really expected out of life by the age of 27 like I don't know like I just thought I was gonna be like marry kids family like by 25 and I'm about to be 27 like clearly Things are just doing its own thing. So, I don't know how I'm really feeling. I'm not numb. I'm not disconnected. I'm, like, extremely grateful and blessed. But it's just, like, life is just so funny. And one thing I'm going to do is laugh and not stress because, like, y'all not finna stress me out. I cannot control these people's decision to let me go or to take me or nothing. I can just show up as my best, my best self and my authentic self so until then I am here deep diving into my passions and doing what I have to do so yeah hence why I'm vlogging I've been wanting to vlog for a minute I've just been wanting to have like a video diary I've always been like a recorder like I record like little snippets of my life but I think it's just cool to have you know ultimately like a video diary for myself whether if people watch it or not I'm gonna be able to go back on this and look at it like I have like on my photo booth on my laptop I just have so many videos back to even when I was in college of just like me sitting down talking talking about like where I'm at in life and like I'll go back and like watch them like wow okay we've made progress because a lot of the times when you're living in it you don't feel like you're making progress right like you the days go by the hours go by the years go by next thing you know it's been seven years <laughs> like literally it's been seven years and you know life just moved so fast so this is like my digital take on documenting my life you know what I'm saying but yeah I'm here in Philly my sister has some things planned for us I'm here until Monday night my birthday is on Sunday single day Mayo so hopefully we can go out and get tacos and tequila on my birthday. Honestly, that's what I enjoy to do on my birthday, okay? Like, we can go to Mexico or we can get tacos and tequila. 
I really don't care. I'm here for the vibe at the end of the day. Um, I don't necessarily like to do big stuff for my birthday. I don't want to say, like, I don't like to do it, but I... To the extent in which I want to celebrate, I know that it necessarily does not align financially with a lot of people. And that's just like the reality of where we are in life and like the economy and just being like socially aware of like what everybody else is going through. Um, so like for me, I'm always like, I can't wait until I'm in a space in my life where I could literally just throw a big party and like people just have to come you know what I'm saying or I invite everybody out to dinner and the whole time is covered for like I just like to have people there celebrating with me and I don't want people to be worried about x y and z like just come like I want you to be there so I'm gonna make sure that you're there and I don't want you to have to worry about anything honestly so that's kind of like my mindset and stuff like that when it comes to my birthday and I just like being around those who love and support me and just like rejoicing and reflecting. Now, would I much rather be okay in a bikini, on a beach, on a boat, with some Don Julio? Absolutely. I would much rather be there. But we're not there right now, okay? And that's okay. We'll be there soon, okay? That island is still gonna be there. That sand is still gonna be there. But I've just been wanting to go to the beach so bad lately. Like, I'm from Virginia Beach, so I'm used, like, growing up, I was always at the beach, um, just, like, in high school. Like, there was never not anything to do because you could always just go to the beach with friends. And, like, now I live in Atlanta, and Georgia's, like, a Lockland state, which is so crazy. Like, I've met so many people in Atlanta who have never been to the beach. They're not necessarily from Atlanta, but I've met, like, a lot of people from the Midwest, like, Iowa and, like, those states over there who have never seen the beach before. And I'm like, that is so crazy. But I just miss waking up. Well, not, I didn't live on the beach, but like being able to smell the ocean and the salt water, like and the sand and everything like that. So I'm just gonna say right now, as soon as I get a job, the flight is booked, the hotel is booked. I cannot wait to go on vacation again. But anyways, um, my sister has like stuff planned for us to do over the weekend and I'm supposed to be going to the gym uh, with my brother tonight but we're gonna see because at this point I don't even feel like going anymore but um it's a really nice gym though that he'd be going to it's a nice gym so tonight we're just like chilling eating snacks I told her I want like charcuterie board stuff like cheese and crackers and grapes and fruit all that good stuff um, and then tomorrow morning we're doing a hike and then we're going to a Korean spa, which I'm super excited for. And then Sunday we're doing church and then brunch. That's just like the main stuff. Like it'll probably be stuff to like fill in the gaps in the space, but I'm really here to see my nephew. Okay. He is a big boy now. Apparently he's two years old. I haven't seen him since holiday time. I'm excited to see my little stinky. Everybody's like, he's super energetic. So I'm just ready to play with him. And that's the main reason that I'm here. But I'm excited to see my nephew and everybody. So yeah. Welcome to today's vlog. Happy early birthday to me. And let's get into it. What is it? Cantina Los Cabanitos. Okay, let's go. Actually, oh my god, let me ask. Okay. I'm gonna head that way. Hey y'all, so I'm with my sister and we are getting ready to go to a happy hour. I don't know where quite yet, but I think we're getting Mexican, which is very on brand for the occasion. It's kind of chilly outside today. They said it's been warm here the past couple of days, but today is not it. It is currently 58 degrees, and I did not pack for 58 degrees. I didn't know it was still 58 degrees because it's kind of like spring, summertime, but it's not like freezing cold. I feel fine with the jacket on and stuff like that. But yeah, we're getting ready to go get Mexican, and I don't know what else. But that's probably it because it's Friday. 
and I took a nap. But I feel rejuvenated now. But she knows I've been at work all day. So, but yeah. I'll talk to y'all when we get there. Alcohol so differently now. So we're currently at Mexican right now. We were going back and forth between Mexican and then going to Barcelona wine bar. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can we get an order of the chips and queso? Sure. Do you want salsa as well or is it just the queso? Um, just the queso. Right. Can I do an order of elote? Absolutely. Are y'all sharing that or is that just for you? It's just for you. Yeah. And then order the empanadas. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Have you one? Uh, that's it. Your drink. Oh, the strawberry margarita. Well, you see your ID please. Oh, yeah. Rocks or fruits? Uh, rocks. Please. Anything on the room? Uh, sugar. Yeah. Do you have for this here, Mother? We do not. But yes, yeah, so we're at Mexican right now. We just made our order. We were going back and forth between Mexican and Barcelona wine bar because they're right next to each other. But Barcelona had an hour wait and we could sit immediately at the Mexican. So we're here right now. We ordered a bit of food and if Barcelona hits us back, then we're gonna go over there to like get more food to actually eat. But if not, we're just gonna finish eating here. And yeah, I am hungry. I'm ready for these empanadas. So that should be delicious. A clip or a kick? A clip. What should I be doing? Drinking your margarita. Just being you. Now you're creating content. Yes. So we are at a. We are a rack. We're a rack. Creative agency, community hub, and platform for creators here in Philly. So they are hosting a networking event tonight. No, we're not hosting. Um, the Connect has rented out our space. Okay. And they're hosting a networking event called Like Minded. So an event is being hosted at their space. Yes. So we are here at the event. And it should be pretty good. This is like black professionals as well as like black creatives coming together to collaborate. Like-minded individuals, X, Y, and Z, all that good jazz. So, yeah. Okay, hey y'all, so it is the next day, which is Saturday, and it's around 10.30 right now. The morning's been pretty chill. I've been spending it with my nephew. We were up early. I was watching Spider-Man. Then we ate some breakfast. I love him so bad. He's so big now, like, 
You're like talking and communicating and expressing yourself and telling me what you want, what you don't want, what you like, what you don't like. All those things. I think kids really just help you realize, I don't know, like, life is just so, like, beautiful. I don't know, something about just him being exposed to, like, the world and just, like, watching him develop and his brain develop and things like that. It just makes you reflect on your own life. Like, wow, I used to be that little and I'd just be in so much awe whenever I see him and hang out with him i'm telling my sister i'm like he needs to come spend a week with me in atlanta we will have a grand old time doing things and fun things and stuff like that but today we are going to the korean spa i've never been honestly i've never been to a spa i've never had a facial i'm not really used to people like touching on me and like all that stuff like I'm not used to that so this is gonna be a quite interesting experience especially like a Korean spa I heard that's also a different kind of experience as well I know like people kind of stay there all day sometimes but they have like different I guess things you can do like salt baths full body scrubs facials all that and I guess like the main thing is that you're naked like majority of the time is what i'm getting from it but i just got out the shower and my sister sent me like a korean spa prep list and just giving me like a list of things that i should probably do and bring to the korean spa as well and honestly like my allergies are bothering me they have a dog and i think like Low-key, I'm allergic to dogs, even though I love dogs. And after, like, a day or two of being around the dog, like, I'm fine. But right now, my nose is just, like, a little stuffy. And then on top of that, the weather here is different than it is down in Atlanta. So, and, like, I didn't, like, bring the proper clothes and stuff like that. So, my body is just, like, but I always feel like this whenever, like, I come here. And I'm never here long enough for me to, like, get past like feeling sick or whatever but anyways we are going to the korean spot and she sent me like a prep list so on the prep list we have comfortable clothes bathe before don't put lotion or oils on pack a sheet mask slash hydration mask pack a water bottle and pack your body wash skincare products and body oil and lotion so i need to do that because she says she wants to leave at 10 45 and it is now 10 36 i just got out the shower and stuff like that um, okay, so basically like my entire hygiene, but the thing is like I didn't bring my entire hygiene because I've just been using her stuff, but I'm like, are we going to be near each other? Like, am I going to be able to just to like grab what you have or should I just like bring my own kind of bottle situation? But yeah, I'm getting ready to pack that stuff up. And then, I guess we're going to, like, head out. I don't know how far away it is. So, listen, I just like to be ready because ain't nobody going to say I'm the reason why we're late and all that good stuff. I am so sniffly. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. I thought I got past my allergies by now. Like, ease. Uh, anyways, let me go ahead and pack up because I don't have much time and I will see y'all on the way to the spa i don't know i'm probably not gonna bring my camera in there because you know like yeah okay guys so we are done at the korean spa we were there for about three hours honestly um my hair and everything looks a mess but it's okay because it was a really good experience that was my first time going this was chanel she's been before Chanel, how would you rate this compared to other places you've been? Um, you know, I've only been to one other one, and that was in LA. Mm -hmm. And I would say that was better because the massage was better. Mm -hmm. I feel like they skimped us on the massage. Mm -hmm. 
because they didn't really take us to a massage room. They just like gave us the full body scrub and then they're like, okay, now yeah. we're gonna do a massage. Right, it was pretty like a fat turtle attack. And I will say, the one in LA, I spent a lot of time in the bath. I didn't even get in the baths in this one. Uh, you said that uh, baths are like huge, right? Yeah, like yeah. I, was, I was like in the hot pools and everything and I didn't even get in these ones, but. yeah. It was like it was worth it. I mean, Korean spa experience, affordable mm -hmm. treatments. Mm -hmm. The scrub was definitely good. Yeah, yeah. So like, just for a rundown, we did, we got like a full body scrub done, which was really intense, but it was really nice. I feel they got into every crease and crevice of my body, and I was like. I didn't even know that existed kind of situation. But for those who like haven't been to a Korean spa or don't know, you're like nude the entire time, honestly. Um, so everything is done with you completely nude. And they do like a body scrub um, from literally head to toe, like from this point of your body all the way down. They do oh yeah, this scrub. one didn't have the restaurant either. Oh yeah. The one in LA had a restaurant. There was no food, so that's what we're on the way to now. But we did the full body scrub, and then after the scrub, we got a full body massage, which was really nice. She got like up in my shoulders really well. Maybe she knew that my shoulders were tight by just feeling on me. But like my shoulders and my like shoulder blades, those muscles get really tight for me often. And I also had to go to like the chiropractor to get like relief, but it felt really, really good when she was doing it. Um, but before you get like the scrub and the full body massage, you have to shower after like every part of the experience. So you have to shower before you get the scrub and then you kind of rinse off again after the scrub. And this stuff is for like 30 minutes. So it's not like a quick like rub down. It's like they're literally having you roll over, turn to the side, turn to the other side to get like everything under your arms, all that stuff. So after you do the scrub you shower again and then they do a full body like massage and like the oil was hot which was really nice and kind of fell asleep during it it like wasn't like i was kind of skeptical at first because it was like full nude and i've never have done any kind of spa massage facial like i think i said that earlier like i don't I don't do things where people are like touching on my body quite much so i thought it would be uncomfortable but it really wasn't you know like that bad it was actually a really good experience to the point where i would do it again um and just like explore other ones that are in different cities um, but it was a really really good experience i'm really relaxed right now i'm kind of tired but i'm mostly hungry so we're on our way now to get some food some korean barbecue yes we're going to get korean barbecue that will be very filling. I'm looking forward to eating some rice. Honestly, I haven't had Korean barbecue in a couple months, so this is gonna be really good and filling. As it pertains to like what we're doing later, not quite sure yet, but the day is still young. It's only like three o'clock, but maybe it's closer to four. It's three eleven. Um, so we were there for like a good three hours, honestly. So that was like a three hour experience, but outside of the rub down and the massage and stuff they also had like a steam room they had a sauna and then they had like other hot rooms they had a sea salt sauna which was really really nice um to like put your feet in and just lay down in the salt and they had like a dry sauna because i go to the sauna at my gym but it's not like a dry sauna i guess you can say but so it was cool to see the different experiences i like the steam room the most um out of all of them i wish my gym had a steam room but it was really nice it was a good experience and i feel really clean and they also did like facials the facial was like with fresh cucumber like she was like grinding up the cucumber and then like she put it on your face and let it sit there while she did your massage and then she rinsed it off so it was really nice um yeah I enjoyed it but now we're hungry starving actually so looking forward to this korean barbecue and i will see you guys when we get there
Hey y'all. So, it is not my birthday. It is the day after my birthday, actually. I just did not feel like filming on my birthday and it wasn't that much stuff going on, honestly. On my B day and I was just like trying to be in the moment. I'm over here like playing with my hair. I just crimped it. I used to crimp my hair all the time when I was like in college. When I bust down, I used to crimp it, okay? So this is my first time like having crimped hair in a minute. But I like it because I'm getting ready to head to the airport and head back down to Atlanta. But I was like, let me like end this vlog because I did not pick up my camera at all yesterday. Honestly, yesterday it was a chill good day. I just like, I don't want to say I'm not a big birthday person because I don't necessarily think that's true. I just think where I'm at in life right now. It's like I'm just not feeling it and I really just don't have the funds to be, you know, just indulging in crazy fun stuff right now. But I'm aware of that so I'm not like, I don't feel any way about it. I'm like it's just like a season of my life that I'm in right now and whatever. I just gotta make sacrifices and I just can't do what I typically do and that's okay with me. Um, and on top of that, my birthday is on single day Mayo, so a lot of the times people be expecting me to be out lit drunk X, Y, and Z, and I'm like, my birthday is on single day Mayo every single year. It does not change. I've done the celebrations and stuff like that already, like, as it pertains to, like, single day Mayo, so, like, I'm not super, like, pressed or worried to be out doing things. And it's not like depressive that I'm in the house, honestly. Like I was chilling yesterday. Um, so I went to church in the morning with my sister, my brother-in-law, and my nephew. And then after that we went to get brunch at this place called um, 1111, where it's just like a food restaurant. Like they didn't sell like any kind of like liquor or alcohol per se it was in your own bottle so we got like a bottle of champagne but i got fish and grits okay that's always my go-to at brunch now i'm not really into like super sweet breakfasts slash brunch really anymore you know i kind of like the breakfast part of the grits but then i also like the fried fish with hot sauce on the side so it was really good that's what we did and then i came home and I was just like getting myself together for the week like any other Sunday I would do and I like took a nap and then I woke up and I was playing with my nephew for like a couple hours like hanging out with him editing my last video that should be up now and honestly just like chilling and just like reflecting but it was a grounded birthday for me um I just don't like to do too much on my birthday. I think it's because I really do like to celebrate, but I'm just not in a place in my life where I can celebrate the way that I want to as it pertains to actually having like a celebration. Of course, I'm gonna celebrate life and be grateful for it, but in the sense of actually doing something, no. Um, and plus, like I said, I'm in Philly right now. It is cold. It was rainy yesterday. I'm like, I don't know the last time I spent my birthday in a cold, rainy place. What? So, yeah, I was just like, I just want to be in the house. I like maybe if it was like 85 degrees, I'd be like, yes, let's go out, let's go drink. But I don't even like drinking when it's cold outside. Like I don't know. It's just like such a summertime activity for me. I feel like I don't know. So, yeah, yeah. And that's really all I did yesterday. It was nothing much going on. I'm just hoping like in the near future, like for one of my birthdays, I definitely can take a trip or I can have like a party. Like I really want to do like a party one year where like all my friends live in like different states and like different areas. Like not everybody's local to the Atlanta area, but it's like I can just have a party and every all everybody has to do is just worry about getting there. Like if you can get there, and how's yourself? Like everything else will be taken care of. Like have a really nice dinner, you know, and then have like 
a nice party kind of situation where everybody can just enjoy themselves that's where i get like a lot of my fulfillment out of it's just like when everybody around me can enjoy themselves like i just want to make sure everybody's good and i don't want it to be like a strain on anybody to celebrate me you know what i'm saying like i don't want it to be a strain on anybody to celebrate me that's just how i am and that's just like how i think i'm never gonna be upset because somebody didn't come out of their last dime or whatever to contribute to the celebration of me and especially now that you're older but now that i'm older a lot of the times if you want to do something for your birthday you have to plan it and i just don't feel like planning sometimes i just like don't want to plan like planning stuff can be like stressful all in all i had a good birthday i'm doing good mentally every day is like a little is a little bit of a challenge you know it's like the sense of like i'm depressed but blessed you know depressed but grateful to be here you know so like that keeps my mood up you know what i'm trying you know what i'm saying i had a great birthday i had a great weekend super grateful for my sister for getting me out the house and treating me this weekend i really enjoy spending time with her and just seeing my nephew and seeing my family seeing my brother my brother also lives here so seeing my brother and just like seeing everybody and it just makes you realize how blessed you are like wow she really loves me like I, my family really cares about me i'm so appreciative because they can they can just be like oh sorry girl good luck or whatever you're going through but i'm just super blessed that i don't have a family like that shout out to my friends everybody who reached out to me on my birthday i love them dearly the voice memos i got just everything i'm just super blessed and grateful for and i'm ready to get back home I'm ready to get back in my routine. I'm ready to get in the gym. I've been just like eating and laying, eating and laying, not really moving my body. So I need to get up and move my body and get back into the groove of things. But yeah, I just wanted to close out this vlog properly and say happy belated birthday to myself. And yeah, it was a good one. I'm super blessed. I'm super grateful for everyone and everything I have in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.